Resistors are one of the most primary components while making any electronic circuit or device. Resistors are basically passive electronic components that resist the flow of electric current through them. Resistors are also used to divide voltage, terminal transmission lines, adjust signals, etc. In this video, we'll learn what are the different type of resistors and how you can choose one for your project. So to know more about that, stay tuned. Resistors are mainly classified into two types, fixed value resistors and variable resistors. The fixed value resistors are those whose value remains constant throughout time, while the variable resistors are those whose value can be adjusted by the user. So now what is the resistance value we are talking about? The unit of resistance is Ohm, named after the German physicist George Ohm. The more the value of Ohm in a resistor, the more current it can resist. A resistor has three important parts. First is the conductive element which will ensure the flow of little current through it. Second is ceramic core with protective film which will resist the flow of current through the resistor. And third is the protective lacquer which will ensure printability on the resistor and low moisture. Now let's take a look at some of the fixed value resistors and first of them is the carbon film resistor. So this is basically a carbon film resistor. This resistor has carbon film coated over the ceramic layer as we saw before. So carbon film resistors are capable of withstanding massive temperatures. They are available between 1 ohm to 1 mega ohm. These carbon film resistors have high negative temperature coefficient. So basically that means that whenever the temperature rises for them, the resistance will decrease. These resistors are costly when compared to the metal oxide film resistor. So this resistor is a metal oxide film resistor. Basically this resistor has metallic film coated over ceramic. This resistor are capable of withstanding high temperature due to the presence of an insulating ceramic rod that doesn't let heat pass through itself. At the same time, metal oxide resists the current. So basically these are less costly when compared to the carbon film resistor. Also these are small in size along with high reliability and stability. So these are wire wound resistors. So wire wound resistors are basically metallic rod with resistive wire around them. So these resistors are known to be the highest power and these are basically the most precise resistors. So wire wound resistors can be found with power ratings up to around 50 watts. Wire wound resistors suffer from high inductance and capacitance due to the nature of construction. So these limits them to the low frequency applications. So this is basically a SMD resistor. SMD resistors as you can see are smaller in size. They are made by placing end connection electrode bases onto an alumina or ceramic substrate. So the very main advantage of surface mount resistors are they are small in size and they have reduced board costs. But the disadvantage of these resistors are they cannot withstand mechanical or thermal cycles like the other resistors. So let's take a look at the variable resistors. So variable resistors are those whose value can be adjusted by the user. So the potentiometer has a resistive track which is made of resistive material like carbon. When the rotator is rotated, uh, the wiper is also rotated along with that. And with that the changes in resistance is reflected in the second terminal of the potentiometer. So one of it is VCC, one of it is the signal and other one is the ground. So this is a potentiometer. I'll just put it inside and rotate it. So this is an LDR. An LDR is a type of variable resistor in which the value of resistance changes with the light intensity that falls on it. Light dependent resistors have a photosensitive track material made by cadmium and silicon which is sensitive towards the light. It has a resistance that changes its value according to the wavelength of light incident on the LDR. So this all means that basically the more light falls on this particular surface the less resistance this will have and the less light will fall on this the more uh, resistive it will be. These LDR can be used in light sensitive applications like smart street lights, cameras, etc. So a trimmer potentiometer is a small potentiometer. This is used for adjustment, tuning and calibration in circuits. So when they are used as a variable resistance, they are called preset resistors. These resistors come in two variants, single turn and multi turn. So this is basically a single turn trimmer, which means that you can only rotate it in limited space. So this starts from here and ends at here. You cannot rotate it more than that. Meanwhile, this is a multi-turn trimmer, which means that you can turn it, rotate it and vary its resistance with multiple turns. So like this, you can rotate it multiple times. So thermistor's resistance is proportional or inversely proportional to the temperature. 
So these come in two variants. One is the NTC which is negative temperature coefficient and the other one is PTC which is positive temperature coefficient. So negative temperature coefficient means that as the temperature around increases the resistance will decrease and positive temperature coefficient means that as the temperature around increases the resistance of this particular element will also increase. So this is basically an NTC which are mainly used. PTCs are not mostly used. So this is a sliding potentiometer which means that its resistance will increase or decrease depending upon how I move it or slide it. So this has a translating motion like this and the resistance will depend upon this. So guys that's it for the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more informative content. Stay safe, stay tuned at Robo.in.